take shots at them. Do you feel like the team's just not handling that pressure, that, that role reversal, as well as you'd like to, you know, being that, that hunted? I mean, they just, they're just not handling that pressure as well as, as you would like? Well, I'm not sure about the pressure of it. We're, we're not shooting the ball well, but I've been more concerned about our ability to actually hold our opponent to under 50%. The Santa Barbara game was, as a coach, it was embarrassing because our help side was uh, late. It was weak. And Santa Barbara played a great game. I give them full credit. But uh, from a defensive standpoint, I don't think that we brought a game that was worthy of winning a game. So, you know, we have to improve in that area for us to have a chance at winning games. Obviously, you'd like your team to be peaking at this time. The team appears to be doing the opposite. So, I mean, how concerned are you? What kind of red flags are are being raised right now with the, with the team, especially from you know, last week? Well, I don't think that we're going the opposite direction. I do think we have to find a way to win when we're not shooting the ball well. And certainly, Mott Jim has been really wonderful to us. We shoot the lights out in Mott Jim. Uh, we've got to maybe get a little bit more comfortable in our setting when we're traveling on the road. And as I said, it looks, it appears as if us just doing a shoot around and they get 15 minutes of shooting, it hasn't cut it for us. So I'm going to have to make some some changes in our schedule to allow our players to have a little bit more comfort against their opponents by getting them a practice time at the facility before the day of the game. Saturday's game is big because of conference standings uh, and seedings, I guess. How big is it also in terms of just like psychology uh, heading down into Anaheim? Well, for us, I think that we're probably, in all likelihood, I think we're going to end up the third seed because uh, I'm, again, not counting on Riverside or Davis losing. But... Uh, for us to finish in, as a third seed, again, we're exactly where we were last year. But I do think from a momentum standpoint that it's significant. So the loss as far as seeding, if we were to suffer a loss, wouldn't hurt us nearly as much as us losing confidence in our own ability. Knowing that the team, had, you know, I think I asked you this last week, it's, just, it's been tough for the team to get momentum and, and, you know, win three, four games in a mm -hmm. row. It's been over a month, I guess, since you guys won two games in a row. How concerned are you about that, knowing that you may get the third seed and you're going to have to win? three straight games, or is it a different animal once you get into a, a tournament? Well, I sure hope it's a different yeah. animal. You know, when we go to the tournament, I, hopefully it, you don't see the home court advantage play out as strongly as as we have the last couple games. Um, I, I do think that there's tendencies for players to lift their games when they're on their own home court. If it's at a neutral site, I think that hopefully it balances some things out and we can get back to, you know, facing opponents that aren't um, – on a mental steroid situation, you know, I think that that'll be helpful to us. But we definitely have to improve our play as well, and that's what we're focusing on this week. And overall, I know Andrew probably asked you this, uh, or he did, uh, just the mental state of the team. I mean, you feel like the girls are ready, willing, and able to get this thing turned around and are upset after Saturday's loss and the two, the two losses last week and are still confident in their abilities? Yeah, I think last week, I mean, we – it stung us. Uh, it was painful. There were quite a few tears shed, including from this person. Uh, but we, I think, are still in the mindset of we just have to improve in this area, in this area, in this area. We haven't said, oh, man, we really stink. That's not crossed our minds at all. Because we've beaten everybody in the conference, I think we feel like we can beat everybody. We can win a championship. We also know that we have the capabilities of losing to anybody in the conference, and that's been the case for everybody. I think this whole year is that the strength of the of the conference is is so balanced that there's not a game that you can take off, and there's not a game that you can have a hiccup. You know, the Fullerton game last week, we're up six. We don't score the last couple minutes of the game. You know, we try for a box out. We hit each other. Ball bounces loose, goes out to a three point shot. They end up nailing it. They go up to now we're in a little bit of a panic, you know. So everything matters to us, and um, the ball doesn't always bounce the way you want it to bounce. But can you can you do the things to win a game? Which are I thought we did well against Riverside at our place. We shot the ball horribly, but we still won the game because our defense was strong enough to do so. And that's kind of what we have to get back to: control the things that we can control. And there's some things we can't control: the referee calls, the uh, sh sometimes the shooting ability of our opponents sometimes our shooting ability, some things of that nature we can't control. But we can control whether we box out. We can control whether we play tough defense and have rotations, hands up on defense. Uh, we can, I think, control free throw making. Um, so those are things that we're going to try to focus in on. Thank you.